real quick i just want to show you like how insane this is unplug in the device take it off the mount then you'll go to recent apps boom maple story worlds now on my phone when it was just connected to the screen and i was just using the keyboard like that's so tough bro all right, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be trying out Maple Street Roads on Android and specifically on my Z Fold 6. So let's get into it. So the first thing I did was search Maple Street Roads APK on Google because the official app is not here in North America. So you kind of have to download the Korean version of the app. And what I saw on Reddit was that when you download the Korean version, it automatically changes to English because technically the game is out in North America, but it's not like fully out and it's not launched officially on mobile devices and then i'm gonna download it from apk peer but obviously when you're downloading apks you gotta do this with your own discretion and at your own risk because you know this is not as secure as actually downloading an app from the play store so i'm going here 1.21.2 and then it says android so it's downloaded you gotta use the x apk installer so i just found one on like play store i'm just gonna install it and check it out okay so in the app you go to install APKs and then I'm going to choose, I download another one just to see what it's looking like. I'm going to choose the first one. So yeah, this is an, another Samsung setting. So you just want to go to the auto blocker and just turn this off. Like I said, obviously you do this at your own risk. Don't download random things. And there you go. Maple Story Roads has been installed. Now let me open up this app. So starting up just like on the computer. So I'm going to just log into my Nexon ID and boom, I'm logged into Maple Street Worlds on my phone, my Z Fold 6, which is amazing because it's, you know, this big foldable phone screen. Let me just hop into r So I know that some games are not like fully developed for mobile devices, so the compatibility might not be the best. But with Android, you can plug in a keyboard and a mouse. So I'm actually going to try it in Samsung DeX on my external screen right here and see how it performs and like how compatible it is with a keyboard and mouse on my Android device. All right, classic login screen with the music. I am playing Artil right now. So this is my first time playing Maple Story Roads on a mobile device. So I got to get used to the layout. Let me go to settings, quality, high. Let's go high resource. I like this. This is nice. It's everything just right here in this little menu. That's pretty tough. But one thing that I'm trying to adjust is the FPS because it doesn't look like it's 60 FPS right now. So that's kind of unfortunate. Okay, first, let me do high, and then I'll restart the game. And it it definitely feels smoother for sure. Um, I need to change controls because I don't have my attack keys. Here we go. So this is my computer layout. How do I get it here? Okay, so this is a scuffed solution. We're replacing these keys with the, the skills or the keys that you want to use. But maybe if I can figure out, maybe these are attached to certain keys. Anyways, let's go kill some mushrooms. So it's not, it's definitely not as smooth as playing on the computer for sure, but this is definitely playable. So now I want to try out Samsung Dex just now. Um, so this is a Z Fold device. So I want to see how the app reacts to like different orientations and split screen and stuff like that. So two fingers right from the bottom, split screen like this. And the game still works. If I adjust it, the game is also adjusting. So that's really good. It seems like the game is um at least optimized for switching your orientation and changing your screen layout so split screen like this so it even works like this and it's not lagging it's not glitching the ui and everything just dynamically adjusts to screen size so that's pretty sick last test i'll do floating window and basically i basically have maple story in a floating window just like on a computer and i can move it around do whatever i want in the background throw it off to the side when somebody's talking to me, I can respond to them, go back to my game. Cause when you put it off to the side like this, it's still running. So that's pretty sick. So Maple Story Worlds actually works on mobile devices and especially like foldable phones, it works. You know, go to the outside screen to see how that works. Okay, so the app has to restart for this specific app. So now I wanna, I really wanna try Samsung Dex on the external screen cause Samsung phones have that capability. So let's get into it. Okay, putting my Z Fold 6 on the MagSafe mounts, connecting the cable, then it should turn on. And there you go, Samsung DeX is not connected, so now I'm just going to open Maple Story Worlds on Samsung DeX. So a cool thing about Samsung DeX is that the mouse actually works on both screens. So you can basically use your Z Fold 6 and your Samsung devices as the second screen. But I'm actually going to open Maple Story Mobile here, like I said. 
but now we got Maple City Worlds open on Samsung Dex, and it's like using a desktop computer. That's pretty sick. You can resize it, and it will resize like I showed earlier. So now let's hit that full screen. Boom, full screen, Maple City Worlds on. The external screen coming off of my phone. That's moment of truth. Do keyboards work? Let's go. You can actually use keyboards, bro. So this is like the full desktop experience but off of my phone. Make it a little bit taller so I can move that. So there are some like formatting issues slightly, but for the most part, it seems like it works decently well. So move this back to Z. So it seems like you can't quickly enter the chat by pressing enter or slash. But that's fine. So let's get let's get some action, bro. Maple Story Worlds. This is kind of sick because when you think about it, you can play the full version of Maple Story off of your phone, your Samsung device. So this is actually really sick. And like this is I'm using my keyboard right now on the external screen, but then I can plug up my phone and go back to using it on the phone screen. So it's a mobile. It's a portable setup, but then it's also a desktop setup at the same time. Really, really sick. So you actually can edit roads and create roads on your mobile device. So these foldable phones, tablets and stuff like that are perfect for this kind of thing. Because look at this. You know, like I'm looking at different ropes. Let's see. Put that in here. You can duplicate them. Let's see. how Can you adjust the size? You can turn the orientation. I don't know, I don't fully know how to use this, but like, look at this interface. The fact that you have this editor on your mobile device, you know, there's different things you can load in. You can start working on a project on your phone, then plug it into an external screen with a keyboard in Samsung Dex. You can save your progress, then go on your computer and actually get to work and do some serious work in to develop your world. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited about this. I think having continuity and full features between mobile and, and your desktop platform is just a really good idea. And I think in the long run, it benefits everybody so i'm really excited to see where maple story worlds goes on mobile devices and just in general because i love maple story you know i grew up on maple story and i'm excited that it's still around and i really hope that maple story worlds makes the game last forever this is so sick creating your world on your phone like i said before though it's not like the smoothest experience but it's definitely playable boom orange mushroom slain let me go complete this quest real quick like honestly the mechanics are pretty decent it's obviously not as smooth as, as OG Maple or Maple in general, but like you can definitely, you know, attack and jump. You can turn around and jump, hop on that, hop off. You know, you can, it's decent movement. Then obviously you got your down jump, easy. So yeah, it's a decent experience, decent experience for sure. Real quick, I just want to show you like how insane this is. I'm plugging the device, take it off the mount. Then, you know, go to recent apps. Boom, Maple Story Worlds now on my phone when it was just connected to the screen and I was just using the keyboard. Like, that's so tough, bro. But yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below about Maple Story Worlds. Do you like the idea of it? Are you excited about it? Also, what do you think about Samsung Dex and the capability and the potential? But until the next video, we're out. Peace.